Hello class, good evening. How are you doing? Hello, hello. Jose, Daniel, Evelyn, Reina, um, F, Evelyn, and Jeffrey just connecting. So how are you doing, guys? Hello. Hello, I'm fine. You, teacher? I'm doing good, Evelyn. Thank you so much for asking. How was your day? I have fun. Tomorrow is Friday, so yeah, <laughs> tomorrow is Friday, and for us today is Friday because tomorrow we don't have classes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. So welcome, Evelyn. Thank you so much for answering. Thank her. you. Welcome, uh, Evelyn. Welcome, Daniel. Welcome, Daniel Palacios and Daniel Edgardo and Genaro, Jose Peña and Reina and Jeffrey. Okay, so guys, uh, welcome. Thank you so much for connecting on time. It's 8.01 and we need to start our session number eight. Uh, before I start, I would like to know if you guys have any questions about um, any specific exercise on the platform. Maybe um, you have any doubts that you would like to go over. I can go ahead and do it with you right now, okay? Just remember that today is our session number eight. Believe it or not, it's our second week. You know, this is very fast, really fast. And today you have to complete sessions uh, one, two, and three, plus the midterm, okay? I don't know how you guys are doing. Do you have any question, guys? Or any specific, um, I don't know, how that you want to double check before I get started? The silence tells me that there are no questions. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, or if you have problems with your mic, you can use the chat and send me a message so we can discuss any doubt that you might have or any specific uh, maybe uh, question you might have on the platform. No? Jeffrey, are we fine? Evelyn, Jose? Are we fine with the, with the test, meter? Daniels, I have two Daniels. I have Daniel Edgardo and Daniel Palacio. So, so Daniels, <laughs> Alejandra, Genaro. Two Daniels, two Daniels. <laughs> exactly, you see, two Daniels. I got... Do you have questions, guys, or are we okay? No questions? Okay. No questions, all right, very good. Okay, so yesterday we started talking about this new um, topic, which is about relative clauses, okay? I would like to know what you remember about yesterday's class. What do we say about this yesterday? Anybody who would like to volunteer and tell me what you remember? How do we identify a relative clause? What is a clause? And if you can provide me with any example. Mm -hmm. Let's see, volunteers. Anybody? No, te quieres que yo no sé nada de lo que está hablando. I don't know. You'd say something to me, okay? I know you can listen to me. Therefore, you have, uh, you know, now the space or the chance to talk, okay? Thank you so much, Natalia. I really appreciate that. Tell me. Well, as far as I remember, relative close is uh, the things that we use to avoid a subject. And... We use it with two sentences, if I remember exactly. There are some like whose, which, who, that, e, whom. It's like the exception because uh, after whom, you have to use a subject because it's very formal. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your opinion, Natalia. Thank you so much. Exactly. We have relative clauses and a clause is a sentence. And uh, like Natalia said, we have two simple sentences combined into one sentence, making this uh, one complex or multiple uh, sentence, which means that we are going to avoid 
saying one more time the subject, okay? And in English, this is very common, okay? Maybe in Spanish, we don't have this uh, that frequently used, but in English, it is. So we don't, we don't sound like too repetitive, okay? So I want to think, uh, I do want to thank uh, Emma for these ideas. And yes, the more we practice Emma, the better we are going to, uh, or the more comfortable we're going to feel using them, all right? Okay, um, let's see what do we have on first to recall this, um, well, let's see a topic. I'm displaying at this moment, guys, you are 14 people connected, all right? So take a look at these two images on the screen. I want you to please describe these two images. And after this, I want you to tell me one clause, I mean, one relative clause, okay? Let's see, I have a message. Ah, Angie, you have a question about the platform. Okay, Angie, tell me, please. Angie? Okay, um, good night. <laughs> good evening. I, I have a question about the uh, little b. Re... Wait, wait, wait. Rewriting sentences. Mm -hmm. when, when you use the passive voice. Mm -hmm. And then in number three, um, the original sentences, Ian Fleming wrote the James Bond novels. Mm -hmm. And I, I write them. Yes, Ben. Mm -hmm. The James Bond's novel were, were written by Ian Fleming. All right, I see. In uh, novels, is it plural or singular, Angie? I hope plural. <laughs> if it's plural, what do we use? Was or where? Where? Okay, can you try with where, please? Where, and then after where, what do we use? Do we use uh, past or past participle? Uh, past participle. Exactly. Can you please try where written to see if it works, please? Okay. If it is novels and then it is plural now, then we have to use where plus past participle, which is novels were written. I haven't access to this yet, but let me go ahead and access to see uh, to, uh, to see exactly, you know, what you are talking about. But if you can try this, uh, if you can try submitting this uh, option, please do it and you let me know if it works or if it doesn't, okay? No, no, no it's it, wrong again. Uh, would you be so kind as to share with me, you know, your screen and we can check it? Because I, I am accessing at this moment, okay, and it's just loading that page. Can I can I uh, share with you in WhatsApp? That'll be great. You can do it as, as okay. you please, okay? No problem. Let's see, um, guys. If you have any specific question or anything that you want to ask, please feel free to do it, okay, on the chat or maybe on the. And the sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. And that in, in the same in the same little B in second part, mm -hmm. I have question in number one and number two. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Send it on the on the WhatsApp or maybe okay. on the on the on the Zoom at this moment so we can see it. I think everybody on this group is on WhatsApp which means that we can all have access to this question you are asking, okay? Mm -hmm. Send it, please. I'm just waiting for that. I'm gonna leave some time for this. Okay, I think you send it already, right? And you said this is, um, I am Fleming wrote the, the Jean, James Bond novel. Uh -huh. Oh, there's, uh, this very requires a double T. Written requires double T. Can you try with double T, please? Okay. Double T, written, double T. Can you try that, please? And tell me okay. if it works. Mm -hmm. I send you uh, the second part. The second part. Oh, I can see yes. comedies are, uh -huh. comedies are type of, 
uh, type of movie. They they usually may make people laugh. Uh -huh. Oh, but this is. Uh, let's first finish the first one, please, because I I think this yeah, is a different yeah, yeah, yeah. top. Mm -hmm. okay. So the first the, okay. the first one is for uh, section number two. Am I right? Section yes. number two. Okay. Yeah. And that would be um, which exactly, like which uh, number of exercise, 2 point what? 2.9 or 2 point what? No, the, uh, no have number, only yes. a letter. Yes, but then on top, it, it, has, a, it has a number um, of the lesson, like there is a lesson for that. Uh, lesson three, lesson three. Oh, lesson three, it's not two, okay. Yes. Lesson three, so it's section it's three. It's the yes. lesson. Mm -hmm. So section three and then exercise. Uh, letter B, rewriting sentences. Mm -hmm. Let me see, please, just a second. One second, section three, rewriting, right? Let's see. Teacher, uh -huh. I have a problem with this uh, question and my problem was that I didn't put the the word D. The G. T -H -E. Yes, T-H-E. Oh, in the beginning. In the beginning. Oh, okay. Listen to that, Angie, what um, we're listening to right now. Uh, make sure you write the, the, the T and G, right? T-H-E is the one. Let's see. Uh -huh. Let me, I am just checking, okay, the, uh, the possible solution to this. So um, let me see, uh, com comedies, this is the first one, right? Comedies, no, uh, teen. Angie, can you tell me the number of, of the exercise? Cause I'm looking for that and I can't. Number find. one and number two, comedies are a type of movie. Right. They usually make people laugh. Exactly, that's, that's the exercise, but then each exercise has a number. It's a midterm teacher. Oh, me turn. Uh, yes. You told me. Letter B is me turn. You told me section three. I'm looking at section three. All right. So it's the me turn then. Okay. Let me. Let me. Sorry. Go. Let me access to section three then. Just a second, please. I'm just accessing to me turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. I was looking into the section, but thank you so much for telling me. All right. Let me see. Uh, section three. Me turn. Okay. And this is. Uh, Letter B, you said rewriting sentences. Okay. Uh -huh. The first one is, let's see. The first one is, I got it right here. This is George Lucas, right? Uh, direct, directed the Star Wars movies. That's the one. And then uh, this one, let me see. Ah, you want to say like this. Um, so George Lucas directed the Stars War movies, and then you just make it right into passive voice. In this case, no, we... yeah, mm -hmm. sorry. Um, the first part, the first part is okay. Mm -hmm. I have a question, and second part, number one, comedies are type of movie that usually make people loud when we have to use who, that, or which. Because you sent you sent a photo here, which uh, the first one that that's I correct. Ian Fleming wrote the James Bond's novels. That one is okay. No. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. that one is fine. What is the first one you have yes. problems with? So letter, which uh, letter is it? No, let it be. Let it be. Have two parts. Mm -hmm. One part mm -hmm. is about the the simple boys. Okay. Passive voice, okay. and the second one is about um, okay. answering. Yes, who, that, or which? Uh -huh. Right, I see. I see your point. And then uh, you're talking about, uh, let's see, man. give me a second, please. Uh, part two, revise the sentences using who, that, or which. Remember to add yes. a period after, at the end. Okay, so yes, comedies are a type of movie that usually me. make people laugh. And what did you write here? Comedies are a type of movie. What did you write? Mm -hmm. You can say that exactly, but then you can say usually too. And what do you write after that? 
comedy. Which? Uh, which, uh -huh, which, and then? They. No, they. Remember that after which, this is a relative pronoun, and we don't use okay. a subject after which. So, therefore, it must be, Angie. Comedies um, are, are a type of movie which usually make people laugh, period. Okay. Or you can say comedies that, are a type of movie that usually make people laugh, period. Okay. But you don't say, um, after this uh, relative pronouns, you don't mention any subject. Because if you mention the subject, okay. then we are making a repetition and that's what we want to avoid. Okay, try that and okay. let me know if it works, please. Try that. Okay, it's okay right now. Is it okay? All right. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you. Thank Perf you. No, perfect. It's fine. Guys, do you have any additional question, guys? Anything else that you want to double check before we move on? Guys? Jeffer, is everything okay? Yes, teacher. All right, Evelyn, Jenny, Daniel, Gustavo. No. Giovanni, Andrea, Reina, Jose, Stephanie, question, Hosman, do you have questions? Wendy, are we fine? Yes. Believe me, for me, this is really important that you guys ask me questions because at the end, that's what we want to clarify, right? If you have questions, you ask. And by doing so, we can clarify any doubt. All right, then if there, is, there are no questions, we go back to the class. And today we have this review, okay? Um, all right, so let's see. We have these two pictures. Um, what do you see on the screen, guys? Can you tell me what you see on the screen, please? Two children and one cat. All right, we have three children and one cat. What else do you see? Please. A tree. Okay, we have, bike. A, we have a and tree, three bikes. Three bikes, three bikes or three bicycles. What else do you see? A roof. Mm -hmm. What is a roof? Mm -hmm. How do you say, or let's think about the place. Where do you think these three children are? At the bike. At the yeah, park. They are at the park. And what are they doing? Riding a bike. Thank you. Yeah, they're riding a bike. Do you think they are having fun or they are having a hard time or a, I don't know. Um, the fun. They are they're having fun? fun. Okay. Yes. Okay, so they are at the park, chilling, relaxing, riding their bikes. And what about the equipment? What are they wearing? What do you see? The equipment? That they're using. How do you say casco? Anybody knows how to say casco? Helmet. Helmets. There you go. Thank you so much. The helmet. Exactly. So they're wearing helmets. Very good. What else are they wearing? Gloves. Mm -hmm. Oh, gloves. Okay. Good. That sounds really good. What about, guys, the other picture? Do you think <laughs> this cat is having fun? I think the cat mm. is scared. <laughs> He's scared. How could this cat, you know, uh, be there? He looks like scared. What else do you think is happening around? He has some doggies. <laughs> some doggies barking? <laughs> mm. All right. And now let's create simple sentences from this. Give me simple sentences, OK? Uh, for example, the boys are smiling. What else can you tell me? First picture. More the sentences. Boys are riding a bike. The boys are riding a bike. In the, the boys are having fun. The boys are having fun. What else? What else can you tell me? The children wearing a uh, sport clothes. Exactly, I like it. The children are wearing sport clothes. All right, like like helmets, uh, t-shirts, shirts, gloves, and all that. All right. What about the second picture? The cat, the cat is climbing. <laughs> the cat is climbing. Okay. Yes, he is. What else can you tell me? 
The cat looks like a monkey. <laughs> the cat, <laughs> yeah, he's he's like a monkey, right? And but I don't think he's having a good time. Now, um, can you use two sentences that you were saying and combine them? Because that's relative clause. Can you combine two sentences from the one we said into one and use a relative clause? Anybody? Two sentences into one and with a relative pronouns or clause. Mm -hmm. Let's see, come on guys, try it please. Try to do it, I know you can do it. Two sentences into one. See, I give you one minute to think about maybe if I provide you with one, you can think about one more. Does that sound good? Let me give you one example. Mm -hmm. Look at this one. The children, comma, who all wear helmets, you know, this protection for the head, were excited about their cycling trip. What about the cats? Look at the cat. My cat, which was black and white, got stuck up a tree. Wow, we have two sentences, relative uh, clauses. Now I give you the chance, I give you two minutes more and create one example. Use different ideas. Give you two minutes and send it on the chat or open your mic to provide me with these examples. Two minutes, guys, come on, go ahead, think about it. Okay, what ideas come to mind? Let's see, open your mic and tell me what do you think. Create one example, please. Uh, teacher? Go ahead, please. Uh, the cat, which was so, so, so funny, so funny. Um, so funny is is scary in this moment. I like it. Oh, you know, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. No, no kidding. That one is good, Daniel. Because I was thinking, yeah, what can be another example? And your idea was similar to my idea because it. Ah, okay. The cat, which was, um, yeah, funny, was scared or is scared at, at the moment. Sí, right? afligido, lo veo como que un chucho, lo quiere comer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Thank you so much. I like your your idea. Okay, okay you see, Daniel, you have your daughter, right? Or or who's there? Hey. Hello, how are you? Ah, is, is that your daughter? <laughs> yes, okay. Hi, nice to meet you. We are studying English. Estamos estudiando inglés. Usted tiene que aprender inglés también, igual que su, no sé si es su papá. <laughs> Pero inglés. Oh, you have the family there. <laughs> okay, nice to see you. All right, nice family, okay. Thank you so much for showing it, okay? Um, good, well, thank you for your, for your sentence, Daniel. All right, we go back and let's see what others have to say. Hmm, Jose Peña says, 
the cat, which is scared, is climbing the tree. Yes, yeah, that's present tense. And it makes sense, Jose Peña. And what about the kids? What do you have for the kids here? You have three kids riding their bike, you know, having fun at the park. What do you have? Any example that you want to share with me or and with the class? What do you have? Participate, please. The more you participate. Mm -hmm. The kids riding a bike were, were in the park. The kids, and then what is the personal, I mean, what is the pronoun? What is the relative pronoun? Evelyn, the kids. I don't know if you we can use that, but I say mm -hmm. where. Where, where the at kids, the park? The kids were at the park. Yes, but remember, Evelyn, that we, we need to use relative pronouns when we are adding more information about the, the noun or the, or the subject, in this case, the kids. If you want to add more info about the kids, then you want to use the relative pronoun. Relative pronouns are who, which, how, and where. All of that, right? So then, what are what are the relative pronouns that you want to use here? Anything? The cat, which is climbing the, the tree, again, it's afraid. Mm -hmm. That one, Angie, is okay. The cat, which is climbing the tree, again, is afraid. Yeah, that's exactly correct. So we just need to add the commas, Angie. The cat, comma, which is climbing the tree, comma. I'm sorry, we just climbing the tree again, comma, is afraid. Because the two sentences will be the cat is afraid. The cat is climbing a tree again. So the, those are the two sentences. So the purpose is to identify the two sentences that we are using so we can combine them into one. That is a challenge. How can we make two simple sentences into one single sentence using a relative pronoun. That's, that's the challenge. Let's see, Daniel. Uh, who would want to cheat on, cheat like this cat? Hmm. Who would want to cheat like this cat? Hmm. Interesting. That is a question, Daniel, which, you know, has, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't have a relative pronoun, but I think I get the intention of it. Now, now let's try to think of how to use these, uh, you know, relative clauses, okay? So, Jeffer, Jenny, what do you have? Reina, Gustavo, Giovanni, Wendy, Melissa, Andrea, Stephanie, come on, ladies and, and gentlemen, don't hide. Talk to me, please. What examples do you have? No, I give you one more minute. Provide me with one example. Mm -hmm. Let's see who can provide with one other example. All right, I think I have one example on the chat. Children were riding a bike when they saw a cat, which was my cat. <laughs> okay, which was my black and white cat. Mm -hmm. You're using which, right? The children were riding a bike, then they saw a cat, exactly, which was, you are adding more information about the cat and that must be okay. So thank you so much, Jeffrey, because you're adding about info about the cat. So basically, which was my, my black and white cat. So which is adding info about the cat. So um, yeah, the kids who are riding their bike are having fun. Yes, Jose Peña, that's a really good one. My friend is, my friend is, who is wearing the red shirt. Uh, after my friend, 
Then you want to change that right now. My friend, comma, who is wearing a red shirt is something or someone. Okay. So we want to double check this one because something is missing. You can say, my friend, comma, who is wearing the red shirt, comma, is over there or is in class or is uh, somewhere. Okay. So good. Let's continue. We have some other exercises where you can participate. Let's see. I have a, I have a friend who is cycling. Who is cycling instructor? I have a friend who is cycling instructor. The intention, Gustavo, it's fine because I understand that. But then the point is to join two simple sentences. I feel like something is missing here, Gustavo, because if you say, I have a friend, that's sentence number one. My friend is cycling and is, is a cycling instructor. That's a second sentence. That's why something is missing. Maybe you want to say, I have a friend who is a cycling instructor, right? In that case, it would make sense. Or I have a friend who is a cycling instructor. And let's see, I have a friend who I'm trying to see other possible options. But then I will say, I have a friend, comma, who is a cycling instructor. And then that one, yeah. I feel as I feel as if something is, is still missing here. What do you want to say about your friend? What else do you want to add? Maybe we can think about it. Jenny says the children who wear sport clothes are happy. Yeah, I like that one, Jenny. After clothes, you want to write a comma. And then the cat who running in the tree. Yes, what is missing, Stephanie? The cat who is running in the in the tree, comma. And then you're missing something right there. Because remember, the intention is to add more info about the subject. But then we have to have two relative, two simple sentences into one relative clause using a relative pronoun. OK, so let's take a look at this one. We have more extra exercises. Uh, one volunteer, please. Anybody? Raise your hand. Anybody? We are 17. One volunteer. 17. 16 people connected, which is awesome. Tell me, uh, raise your hand, please. Anybody? Hmm. So, okay, I like it. Anybody? All right, Jeffer. Jeffer, uh, can you choose one from this? Uh, uh, maybe squares here. So let's say this is A, this is B, this is C. Let's put it that way. Then we have one, yeah. two. Can be the second one of the A. All right, got it. This one, right? Boom. Take a look at this one. All right, we have this the image. Can you please create a relative clause about this picture? What comes to your mind? The kid uh, who is um, who is taking uh, who is taking uh, for how do you say toilet towels? The kid who is taking for towel. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, so you can say the kids who is taking for towels is my friend. So we're mm -hmm. completing the sentence. And don't worry, don't worry about this, okay? We need to practice a little bit more, Stephanie, okay? I know, I know, sometimes tend to be confusing. Let's see, um, let me, I want to listen to Jose. Jose, uh, choose one from these squares, these options here, please. Jose Peña. Choose one option. I cannot see, teacher. You can see. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't see the screen? Only choose no. one. A, A1, A2, A3, AB. I'm sorry. 
B1, B2, B3. Okay, B3. B3. This one. Can you see the picture now? Look. What is it? <laughs> How can you create a sentence with this? Consider mine. Anybody? He's a superhero. I like that. I was thinking about it. He's a superhero. Okay, how can we create a sentence? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Anybody? Jose? How can we create a sentence with this picture? I want you to think, please. Anybody? No, is it difficult? Maybe, maybe uh, it's a superhero who will. Save the world. Okay. Yeah, who will save the world. Now, uh, Let's name this superhero, guys. Tell me names for this picture. Send me names on the chat or maybe open your mic. Send me names. How would you name this, this image? Names. Names. Okay, let's see. I want to read them, okay? First name is, let's see, Thor. <laughs> okay. Thor, we have this one. What else do we have? What else? Uh, Jefferson says Thor. Okay, what else? Other name? Thor? God of War. Okay, God of War. Okay, one more, the last one, and then we have the Viking Warrior. Let's 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 take the Viking Warrior. Okay, we're just making this up so we can say the superhero, comma, whose name is the Viking Warrior. Comma, is my savior. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to make a one conversation, okay? Uh, the superhero whose name is uh, the God of War helped many people. You see, I'm just giving you some ideas how you can create this sentence. Daniel Palacios, I like superheroes. Who is this superhero? <laughs> no, we just, you know, providing examples, Daniel. This is maybe, it doesn't even exist. We just use our imagination, okay? <laughs> maybe it doesn't exist. Look at this one. Cell phones, uh, the crater, the turtle, uh, maybe officers, I don't know, cars crash, uh, maybe scientists, or I don't know, this is uh, people selling or... And here we have somebody, I don't know what this is, and lakes, and we have maybe lakes as well, or oceans or mountains. So we have many pictures. The intention is that you create some examples using relative clauses, okay? So maybe I'm gonna give you one more minute and you try to create one um, based on any picture you like, okay? You can make up things, play, inventar, nombres, eh, whatever comes to mind. The purpose is to write a, a sentence in this uh, tense, okay? Go ahead, one sentence, choose one picture. So whenever you have your sentence, please let me know so I can see it or I can listen to it. Let's see. Jose, you don't see the picture? Uh, guys, do you see the picture? Pueden ver las fotos, guys, or no? See? Wendy? Yes, I can. See? Okay, entonces, Jose, usted necesita reiniciar el teléfono o salir y volverse a loguear, porque todos lo ven. Muy probable que esté de su lado el, el error. Okay. I, all right. Um, let's see. What else? What do you have to say? What examples do you have, guys? 
Give me one. Wendy, go ahead. The cell phone, which, which is a black color, is my cell phone at home. You see, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much. Exactly, exactly. Thanks. Exactamente. Eso es lo que quiero que hagan. I like it. Miguel Rodriguez, who cries with his red, red camaro. Ajá, falta una, un complemento ahí, Gustavo. Esa es la idea. Okay, add more information, okay? <clears throat> Something is missing, but you have the idea. What other things can you tell me? Right, any other? What else? The turtle who is big and walking is slow. Hmm. Then we need to add more information. Remember that the, the relative clause adds info about the turtle or the, or the noun, but then we have to add something, something else. For example, Stephanie, the turtle is the turtle, comma, who or that, because it's animal, that is big and, and walks slow, comma, is my best friend. I don't know, I'm just giving you some idea. Or is, uh, you say something something else. The iPhone that was developed by by Apple in, 20, in 2006, comma, has something more. Tienen que agregar un poquito más. La idea es agregar más information about it now. Luego terminar la, la, the sentence. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? For example, the iPhone, comma, that was developed by uh, by Apple in 2026, comma, is really expensive. The yeah, iPhone. Okay. Uh, well, I have an idea, uh -huh, teacher. Uh -huh. Well, uh, the sign, the scientist uh, was who discovered the cure of um, uh, sickness the last year. The, okay. The scientist, comma, who discovered the, the cure of the sickness. Uh, algo más tiene que ser agregado. So the scientist who discovered this, the cure of the sickness, comma, is the best one in the world. Or oh, the, the, the scientist who discovered the sickness of, oh, I'm sorry, the scientist who discovered the cure of the sickness last year, comma, was uh, domin what was uh, given the Nobel Prize, you know. So you have to add more info. The iPhone that was developed by an Apple in 2006 and becomes at first smartphone and the brand. Aha, but then something is still is missing, okay? Porque recuerden que el relative pronoun agrega información del sustantivo, pero luego tenemos que terminar la oración. Pero son dos. By el caso de la última. The iPhone, pensemos, the iPhone. Yo puedo decir, the iPhone is the best phone. Es el, el teléfono el mejor. Pero también puedo decir, the iPhone was developed by Apple in 2006 and became uh, the first smartphone and brand. Puedo decir, the iPhone that was developed by Apple in 2006 and became the first smartphone of the world is the best phone. Tenemos que agregar, we have to add more info, you know, about the noun, okay? So that is the challenge. I want to give you some more examples, guys. Let's take a look at this. I know we have, we need, we are going to understand this. Vamos directamente ya a lo de parte de la sesión de ahora. The cell phone is used to call. Después del cell phone tenemos el que sale el relative pronoun, que es cualquier what, where, who. Eso tenemos que utilizar, Okay. Uh, the accident was, hmm, the, in the accident, the fault was the driver who was the car. Hmm, um, something, that one is really, really close, I think. <clears throat> Let me see. In the accident. What happened is that we don't initiate, we don't start ascending with in the accident. We have to start ascending with the subject. Maybe we want to say uh, the driver who who caused an accident was driving a red car. So it started with the subject in a sentence. That's the way we start the sentence and leave the accident at the end of the sentence, Jeffrey. So we want to modify that. Uh, okay, somebody was was uh, raising their hand. Just tell me, please. Alguien estaba levantando la mano. Ajá, no lo logré ver, bajó la mano. Yo. 
Tell me, dígame. Uh, uh, quería saber si estaba bien porque yo no había entendido la verdad. Entonces, uh, the market is where vegetables are bought. Uh -huh. The market is where vegetables are bought. The market is where vegetables are bought. Fíjense que en esa hay un detallito. By the market, coma, where vegetables are bought, coma, y allí dice algo más. Recuerden, chicos, que la idea de un relative pronoun es tener dos oraciones simples y combinarlas en una sola mediante la utilización de un relative pronoun, mediante un who, where, what, that. Entonces, la primera pregunta, first question is, what are the two simple sentences that you are combining? ¿Cuáles son las dos que está combinando? Si no hay dos simple sentences, entonces es probable que no estemos cumpliendo con el parámetro de una relative pronoun. Relative, relative clause. Ok, veamos el del market. The market is the cleanest place in the city. El mercado es el lugar más limpio de la ciudad. The market, la otra. Uh, sería la otra. The market is where the people buy vegetables. Esa es la otra. Ahora, ¿cómo combino las dos? Sería the market, coma, where the people buy their vegetables, coma, is the cleanest place in the city. Ya uní las dos. Dos simple sentences into one. Esa es la idea. How do we combine two simple sentences with one relative pronoun? Ok, pensemos. Un poquito más y ya me dice que van a, vamos a comprender. Uh -huh. Veamos este. Ya tenemos un par de ejemplos más. Uh, the cars which... Let me see. Uh, the scientific... Scientist sería Giovanni. Scientist who is watching the new SEPA. Entonces, quítele G, entonces. Solo póngale discover the cure for COVID-19. Quítele he was. Uh, de un solo, digamos, the scientist who is watching the new SEPA uh, discovered, de un solo, el, el verbo, discovered uh, the cure for COVID-19. No vamos a poner he porque la idea es quitarle el sujeto, no volverlo a decir. Uh, the cars which were crashed Coma, we're in, in the night race. Ese José Peña está muy bien. I like it. Vamos al Develin. The man wearing a yellow sweater wants to buy apples in, in the misters. Who is my crown? Hmm, ahí falta el relative pronoun, Evelyn. Si no lleva relative pronoun, no es una relative clause. Los relative pronouns, ya los decíamos que son what, where, who y todo eso. Pero ahí no veo ninguno. Lo único que al final lo agrega, pero no mucho. The, the man wearing a yellow sweater wants to buy apples at the Mr. Donut. Uh, quizás vamos a cambiar para que se entienda. The, wants to buy apples to the Mr. Uh, to the Mrs. Perdón. Who is my grandma? <risa> Ajá, si hacemos esa inversión podría tener el sentido, ¿ok? O hacer, agregar esa pequeña modificación. Angie, the police uh, who have been standing at the corner, esa está bien. Uh -huh. Exactly. Well, veamos, guys, el tiempo va bien rápido, sigamos practicando porque ese es el propósito. Aquí vamos, solo un recordatorio, just a reminder, and today is session uh, three, and we have to complete session number, I mean, session one, two, three, plus the midterm. Everybody must be here. Todos deben estar ahí, okay? If you are not here yet, then we have a challenge, okay? Tenemos un reto. Ahí solo un reminder y veamos a unos exercises. Un quiz le voy a poner. Miren. Two, three. Bueno. Identify the relative pronoun. Identifíqueme el, el, el pronombre relativo. Un minuto. Go ahead.
Okay. So, who has the first relative pronoun? In the first sentence, what is the relative pronoun? Which? 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 Good. What about the second one? Mangoes? What is its relative pronoun? Which? 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 Third one, well, what is the relative pronoun? That. 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 Hey, now we are talking. Let's see. And, and what about this one? The last one? Jamie? Yeah. Which? 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 That, that and who? Who? Eso es, vaya, punto número uno. One important thing to mention. One relative clause must. It's not even an option. Must have relative pronoun. Si tiene un pronombre relativo, entonces un, es considerado una, una cláusula relativa. Yes, tiene which, who, that, where, lo que se ha mencionado. Sigamos. Let's continue. What about, uh, ok, do this. Le voy a darle sí por el tiempo de tres minutos. Vamos a match. Vamos a matchar el, el column one con column B. Or A and, A and B. ¿Cómo quedaría? Write it down, please. Y luego me la comentan. Vamos a ponerle. One, two, three, four. And then we have A, B, C, D. Veamos cómo le queda. Tienen tres minutos. Yo los termino. Angie, do you have the answer? Tell me no, Angie. Or do yes. You have... Yes. Okay. Well, it's really good. That was really fast. Demole un minuto más para que todo sea bien. Stress. Number one is letter C. Oh, okay. I'm glad you were okay. Se llama la respuesta. Awesome. Voy a compartirlas y ustedes. Hola, ya un rato de la pendita bolsa. Ya la terminó. Okay, miren. Boom. Number one. Here we go. Number one. The cat scratched my arm, which made it sore. Oh. Yes. What about this one? The paddling pool is full of cool water, which is fabulous on this half day. I have a sister who is three years younger now. Oh, all right. Very good. And, man. Yes. Si esto fuera un examen, guys, if this was an exam, guys, okay, guys, si esto fuera un examen, cada uno vale 25 es, puntos. Tendríamos 100, yes, mándenme sus notas, notas al, ahí al, al grupo, mándenme, por ejemplo, Las cuatro son 100, eh, si estuvo nada más tres serían 75, 50, ya lo reprobamos. <ríe> ok. Si esto fuera un sample, una muestra, a ver, ¿quién me manda quién tuvo 100? Es que no me manda porque es cero, tú. <ríe> oh, Giovanni, congratulations. That's really good, Giovanni. I'm glad, I'm glad to, I'm, I'm glad to see that. Daniel, no le creo, Daniel. Minus one. Come on, Wendy. Come on. I don't believe you. No le creo. Okay. Okay. What else? Minus one. Daniel, di que cero. Come on, Daniel. Don't make me uh, plain that. Come on. That sad face. Okay. 
Bueno, uh, Stephanie, really good, 100%. And I don't say still, right? Muy bien. Ok, ya ven que no menos ha ido. Entonces vamos a ir terminando la clase de hoy con otro ejercicio más. Déjenme ver, miren. A ver. Uh, can you break each relative clause sentence back into Ahora el reto es poner esto en dos, en dos este, oraciones. ¿Qué les parece? Ups, ya les di la primera para que vean cómo queda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just look like my dad, whose hair is black, too. I just look like my dad, period. His hair is black, too. Hagan las otras dos. Hagan dos oraciones de esta, como el ejemplo. A ver cómo le queda. La verdad que me gusta cómo la ha creado, Jeffrey. Me felicito. ¿Alguien más tiene alguna otra otra idea? A ver. ¿Alguien más? Or do you, you know, get them on, let's, let's think about how we can create two sentences. ¿Qué más he hecho? A despedazar esa oración y hacer dos. Solo tengo dos minutos. Voy a compartir la, la respuesta para que vean más o menos cómo andan ahí. Luego. El hábito algo de Ronald to me. Uh -huh. Ok, look. Y luego mañana lo comparten. Mañana no, el lunes. Vean esto. Huh. My rabbit always runs out to me when I go to his aunt. Sí, la había hecho. Los carros. Prácticamente lo que Jeffrey nos mandó es lo mismo. Lo único que aquí pusimos it porque es el animal, pero yo podría decir my rabbit también en vez de it. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Así que le felicito, este, Jeffrey. Bueno, guys, miren. Uh, we only have one more minute. Tenemos un minuto más. Así que ahí copien la otra y el lunes, primero Dios, comenzamos o retomamos donde nos quedamos. Si usted siente que es relative clauses is a little bit confusing, pues hay que seguir investigating and practicing, ¿ok? Do you have any question? ¿Algo, ¿Algún comentario? No, para mí es un, siempre un placer. For me it's always a pleasure, guys. I see you, I'll see you on Monday. Trate de completar todo. See you on Monday. Okay. Lo que le hace falta, hasta el midterm. Ok, see you on Monday, try to rest on this long yeah, weekend. Bye bye. See you Monday. Bye, see you on Monday. Bye. 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 Bye.